helping how to create a game sheet using Canva and how to upload that into our website. Um, let's get started. Right here on our right hand side, we have where it does say create a design. So you will go ahead and click on that. Once you do click on that, you will have the search bar prompt up and then you will go down to right here where it says custom size. Once you select custom size, please make sure that you select the pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, and inches. Our website already has a preset width for 22 inches, so ours will always be 22. Unfortunately, Canva will only allow you to create up to 72. So if you do need like a gang sheet for 108, you would just have to create two. So you would create 122 by 72, and then you would create the next gang sheet 22 by 36. Today I'm going to just create a small game sheet so you can kind of see how this works. I'm going to do a 22 by 36 so you will clear, create new design. Once you create new design, this uh, website will pop up. Same thing, another a link will prompt up. This is your game sheet and this is already for, set for 22 by 36 as you can see here, 22 by 36 as well. If you see here on your left hand side, you have the templates you have elements text brand you today will be uh, using the uploads that will show you how to upload your file so once you click on upload you will see that on my side i have a few files here already but you will upload your files through here on this little purple uh, link so once you do that once you have uploaded your files they will load up here and then you can just drag and drop it so as you can see here this image you will just double click it on the image and it will I'm sorry it will give you this free form and then right here it will allow you to remove all the excessive space in the background because that will determine your new uh, design size and it will affect it so go ahead and just drag and you will just remove all that excessive space. So once you have done that, if you click here or drag it on the bottom right hand corner, if you drag this inward, you will see your sizing or outward as well. So here we're going to have this one measuring on to be 9 by 10. So please make sure that you do not go over the pink lines because that will cut your image off. So once you've done that, you, you are okay with the sizing, you can duplicate the same image and you will just drag that and drop it down your design. Same thing, add a new design here. This one might seem like it's already cut with the free form, so we don't really have to adjust that one as much. Here, it will give you the option to rotate this. You can do it at a 90 degree angle, and you can do it however you feel comfortable. I will do this at a 90 degree angle, and I will duplicate the same image. And I will make this one smaller. So you can also rotate it however you feel it is necessary to get all that space here. Same thing, you will do the free form. Remove all the excessive space on the image. Okay, and once you have done so, drag it to the sizing that you want. We'll go ahead and do a 10 by, we can do like a 10 by 5. We will go ahead and Duplicate this image three times. And a 90 degree angle, and I will go ahead and add that there. 
right so you can see as close as to the edge as you can without going over it go ahead and add our sunshine in here same thing you will have to remove all the excessive space And you will resize. We'll do this one six by five. And we can just add a couple of these designs so you can see. Here I'll add our thankful. That one seems already to be cut down on a free form, so we'll add this one down and we'll go ahead and rotate this image. And again, we'll same thing, and we'll just make this smaller. We'll do this one the seven by five. Here we can probably add once we have removed the excessive space of this image. I apologize for that. And here you will see the sizing. We'll do this one at kids five by three. And we can duplicate this one one more time. Okay, so once you have created your gang sheet, right here on your upper right hand corner where it says share. You will go ahead and select share. Once you click share, you will click down to download. We do suggest that you select your file type for a PNG. On ours is already selected for PNG, so go ahead and select it. And then you will maximize the sizing on your pixels. Once that is done, you will you click on transparent background and then you will download your file. So once that is done, your design will download into your files, into your desktop computer. However, you are also able to use Canva through your mobile. You can download the app. It is a little different. Um, that's why I am using the desktop version today. So you can see your image here as it prompt up. So we'll exit that out. And then we will go to our website where it's oralitprint.com. So once you have selected on oralitprint.com, you will go here where it says DTF Transfer Gang Sheet. Once you go to DTF Transfer Gang Sheet, you will go scroll down and select 22 by 36 since that is the size that we created. So once you select 22 by 36, you will scroll down to upload your file. Once you have selected that, you can choose your file from your computer. And this one is my design. So as you can see, design, go ahead and upload that. And here it'll give you the process of the download of your file. So once that is complete, this is your file. If you are okay with everything, confirming the image, go ahead and add this. Once you have added that, your file will load here and you will add to cart. So once you have added your file to cart, you will go ahead and process to the checkout area. Once you have got to this page, this is your options to check out. And also you do have other options as well. You will select shipping or picking up, and then you will just fill out all the information needed. This is your credit card information, and you will select pay now. Once you select pay now, you are done, and thank you for watching.